Okay, so I'm recording a video, and now it's adding one more 20 second that's a little bit darker, so hopefully the stack and tracking is not perfect, and I didn't have star alignment on, so that's why the stars are slightly elongated. So I think if I hit align now, I'll probably get Pink Floyd effect. Let's see what happens. Well, either we'll get pink Floyd effect or we'll gradually get the stars to where they align and the image will clear up. Okay, we got two of them added. Okay, so now it is aligning stars and stacking. Okay. Oh, and we got the pink Floyd. Okay, turn that off. Go back to a single 20. Okay, back to a line. After this, I'm going to go to Eskimo and see what happens. I think I gotta refocus too. Okay, let's go over to Eskimo. But let me let me shorten the exposure because I think twenty seconds may be too much for this because it's gonna be small. Okay, stop. Let's go to 10. Uh, may, yeah, 10 maybe. Let's loop 10. Okay, it's right in the center. Hey Mark, I decided to uh, just open up for a bit. I'm playing with the DS16C tonight. I had uh, NGC2158, the open cluster next to M35, and I was doing great stacking. And all of a sudden, it uh, lost 
the calibration stars. So now I'm trying to Eskimo at 10 seconds. I think my focus is going soft. I'm having a problem with the the focus around the C8. It's it's drifting too much. Let me go to a bright star. Let me go to Castor Pollux. Pollux. Slow to Pollux. Oh, mosquitoes. Oh, my, my, oh, I gotta go change clothes. Ah, I got shorts on. And the mosquitoes are like unbelievable tonight. Okay. Let me put the bat no mask on and see why is it why does it keep drifting in focus? Okay. It's not much, but it's enough to be off. Atmosphere is jumping too. It could be atmospheric. Let's see. Be right there. I'm tweaking focus manually. Look at the way the atmosphere is bouncing. Mask off. Yeah. What did I miss? Hi, Teresa. Back to back to twenty three ninety two. Back to the Eskimo. Okay. So the Eskimo is back to the center. And this is a one second exposure, so now let me go to a 10 second loop and let me zoom out a little. Okay. Well, we've been having pretty good weather. This is, this is probably going to be it before the heat of the summer. So that's a single 30, that's 25% field. Let's see what happens. And this is what, 10 seconds long. And let me see if I could stack three of them. See if it'll get it any brighter. I always could go just with a longer exposure, but. Okay, so it says it's got alignment stars. Let's see if it decided to Yes, I have the uh, universe focal reducer with a 10 millimeter spacer in front of the camera. 
So I'm somewhere between F4 and F5. So let me zoom in. So there's the Eskimo zoomed. That's a stack of uh, three 10 second exposures. Not bad. I'm going to zoom out to full. Let me see what else can I look for. Okay, let's go to Hubble's Variable Nebula. I looked at this yesterday, day before, one of these nights. H U B B L E. Hubble's Variable Nebula. Find. It found it. Now let's slew to it. Sure, you want to slew to it? Yes. Okay. So, it should be somewhere around here. There it is, right in the center. Goody, goody, goody. I have the... Uh, Universe focal reducer with the 10 millimeter spacer. I'm in 10 second mode, so now let me add three tens and see what happens. So I'm somewhere between F4 and F5, probably around F4, 5, 4.5. If I was smart, I'd go inside, get a long sleeve tee and uh, long pants. So it says it's okay. Okay. So it did stack. Hopefully you can see it. Zoom in right there. Considering how bright the moon is. <laughs> okay, somebody just sent me something on the phone. Oh, weather app telling us how bad the weather is going to be next week. Okay. Um, is Orion still up? Yeah, it says Orion's up. I'm going to go to Orion before I and, and go inside and get some clothes and a cup of coffee. But I'll leave it on Orion. Let's see. That was the first thing I did this evening. So M42, find, go to. Go to M42. Okay. Raise the scope a little higher. It's getting a little low. Okay. Yeah, I just raised the telescope on the pier. And let me increase the exposure. That's 10 seconds. That's a single. When I go inside, I'm not going to be stacking because I don't want to take the chance of Pink Floyd kicking in. Um, hi, Rusty. I'm just going inside to put on a long sleeve tee to fight the mosquitoes and a, some long pants and get a cup of coffee. I just went to 20 seconds on Orion. Let's see what it looks like. How low is Orion right now? According to my mount is 30 degrees. So Orion is only 30 degrees up in the sky right now. So 
I can raise the black a little to 10. I can raise the gamma a little. Yeah. I will be back shortly, folks. So if anybody comes, tell them I'll be back maybe in five, ten minutes. Ooh, gotta change this door.
Milo is written by Bill Cuppersworth out of uh, Chino, California. Uh, well, it'll be harder for the mosquitoes to bite. Not that they can't, but who knows. Rock has some programmers overseas that have developed the uh, Malenkem Sky software. Okay, what can we now look for? Well, Lepus has gone below my horizon. I, I spent today creating an artificial horizon for Sky Tools. Let's go to, I mean, not Sky Tools, for the Sky X. Let me see, M78. Not M8, M78. Find, slew to, go. And I found the remote control for the shutter in the house. I mean, for the dome. Ugh. That's right there. M seventy eight is faint. Boy. That may uh, benefit from stacking. Maybe not. It's getting low. Okay. M46 in Puppus. That'll work out okay. M46, find as Puppus. It's that's high enough. It's above the tree line. I just gotta get the bell out of the way. to the next exposure. Okay. Okay, where's the... Oh, I see the planetary. It's there. Let me see what I can do about possibly, let me lower the brightness. I was at 40, let me go to 20. And I'm going to try stacking and see what happens. Okay, that's a single 20 second. Let me enable. Average additive stack three. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Somebody sent me an email to, today said that they tried using two processors instead of just one. 
and they said they found with their computer that their DS 2.3 plus worked better with two processors selected as opposed to one. Now let's see. I, I tried two tonight. Is that okay? The center on the planetary. Lower the brightness. Choo. Yeah, the stack of three is a little bright. Yeah, when I, I wrote back, I said, "Did you use like processor one and two, processor one and three? Did you know? Did you try different things tonight? I picked processor one and three just to see." I'm going to stop this because obviously 20 seconds and stacking is too much. So let me go to stop and let me go to 10 seconds. And I'm going to loop 10 seconds. Let's try stacking 10 second exposures. So that's a single 10. That's two 10s. See, I never would have been able to stack this fast with the DS16C before. Uh, it, it just bogged down. But ever since using Doug's technique, it, it has definitely improved performance. So that's a stack of three. Interesting. I had the moon last night with uh, at F20, and uh, too bad it was not very stable because it really would have been nice to watch it do it, do it. using the DS 2.3 plus uh, the detail was incredible <laughs> not bad What else is around here? A bunch of open clusters. Planetary Nebula. I'm just getting, I'm starting to get used to the sky. It's going to take a while. If it wasn't for the T-point model, though, I have the gain set at max. Uh, I always set the DS16C to 20. Gamma right now is 1.3 right over here 
Let me get my uh, EpiPen going. Where is it? Start EpiPen. Okay. Let's put that over here. Yeah, gamma 1.31 right there. And there's the gain 20. Okay. I'll take requests if anybody wants me to look for something. I was going to go try sombrero, but it's <laughs> it's right near the moon. Let me try M95. That's still going to be Hmm. How about M100? M100. Fine. Oh, that's above the moon. Behind Leo. What the heck? Go to M100. Meridian flip. That's going to be rough. <laughs> That's going to be rough. <laughs> I may have to go to Ursa Major. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to Ursa Major to get away from the moon. <laughs> That's M100, but <laughs> in the glare of the moon. Yeah, M64, that's better. Yeah, the black eye. I had it last night. M64, fine, go to M64. A little bit further north. Not too much further though. No. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen with that. Well, it's there. It's there. So let's see how this behaves. That's 10 seconds. Let me try 15. Okay, 15 seconds. I go to brightness of zero. Okay, we're close to that. It's there. Raise the gamma to 1.36 and then start stacking. Let's stack three and see what happens. I mean, you can see the black eye already.
Yep. Yeah. That's that's a stack of two. I think when it gets to three it's gonna be blown out. Yeah. Let's see what I can do to darken it. I could raise the gamma a little more. 1.5. Let's see what happens. I raise the gamma. I'll reduce the brightness to minus 10. Let's see what happens. Okay. I took a dark earlier, and I think the dark is working. I just don't like seeing all that nice little co colorful star pixels. That's not looking bad at all. Considering how far away from the moon is this? I gotta put some grids up so I can uh, display. What is that? Rising grids. Horizon grids. 30, 40, that's 10 degrees. So we're only. That's 50. We're less than 30 degrees from the moon. Not bad at all. Let me go to M63. It's a little bit further away from the moon. Where's 94? M94. Yep, M94 is further away. What kind of galaxy is it? M94, Spiral Galaxy? Sure, what the heck. Let's go. Bingo. Go to M94. And after that, we'll go to 63, and then maybe uh, 51, and let's, I'm going to get the dome out of the way. And I forgot to stop the stacking. So, okay. Okay. Okay, there's M63. Why has it got a reddish tint to it? Oh, that's, that was the dome. Let me do the stack of three and see what it does.
M94 Spiral Galaxy Canis Fanatasy Excuse me What's its magnitude? Magnitude 8.1 Let me go look at my iPhone and see what M94 looks like. Go to Sky Tool, Sky Safari. Uh oh. Star Trails. Search. M. 94 search it doesn't show a lot of detail is it the one called crocodile eye The one's called the, I think it's called the crocodile's eye. Okay, let's go to M63 now. It'll be in that same general area. M63, fine, real close, go to, yeah. And it's still with the shutter, so I don't have to move anything. Okay. So this is the sunflower. Hmm. That one's faint. It looks like focus changed again. Yep. Anybody ever take a Schmidt Casgrain apart to check the focuser in the mirror cell? Because <laughs> that definitely doesn't look like it's color. It's something's wrong. Let me go to longer single exposure, see what happens. Stop, let's go to 25 seconds. See what a single 25 does. I may have to throw the Batnov mask back on. Little bright star. Okay, stop. I think my software